What is up, Renaissance crew? I'm the original Renaissance man, Devon Da Vinci, and you're watching Da Vinci Reacts. Now, today I'm a. Uh, it's going to be a very busy day for me. I'm gonna try to do a um, maybe about four reactions, and then uh, four o'clock p.m. or four p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, if you guys don't know what time, well, I guess you can't see the time right now, so never mind. Um, just know, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, I think that's about 3, 2, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, I will be streaming on YouTube, uh, possibly Twitch also, but I know for a fact it'll be on YouTube. I'll be streaming Red Dead Redemption 2. I'll be uh, continuing my playthrough of that. I'll probably play it for about three hours. And then I will um, move on to a Twitch stream where I'll be finishing my drawing of the same with no name. That is a crossover drawing that I'm doing between Dragon Ball Z and the you know the old Clint Eastwood movies. I'm trying to draw Vegeta as a Saiyan. As, I mean, Vegeta as a cowboy. <laughs> so um, be sure to check that out. I already have part of it on my channel already. And I will be finishing that. Um, once I get done with the entire picture, then I'll edit it and speed it up and put it all into one video and upload it onto YouTube as its own um, Da Vinci Draws video. So be sure to look forward to that. Now to get into this, I'm doing a few reactions. Now normally I try to do one reaction on YouTube and one reaction from uh, Twitter. That's why it's a little bit easier to get reactions from Twitter because I don't get as many. So it's easier to get your reaction through, whereas YouTube you'll be waiting for a while because there's a big backlog of them. But uh, the first video comes from uh, Twitter. Let me check the user's name real quick. I should have had this loaded already, but my computer likes to act up sometimes. In May, a this uh, video was recommended by Mickey Serlovic. Um, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. Um, you can find him at M S L or M S A R L O V I C. So, Mickey Serlovic. He recommended I react to Doug Stanhope. Um, Oklahoma Atheist Newsweep News Swipe <laughs> 2013 BBC um, So I'm guessing this has something to do with Doug Stanhope or a news clip So let's jump into it, it's a short video And I'm going to try to get it done uh, fast so I can um, You know, try to get to the next reaction As well That's Across right. Oklahoma and in the aftermath CBS News captured a heartwarming moment And I hollered for my little dog And he didn't answer. A dog. Hi, puppy. A dog. Oh. I remember hearing Just about this. Bible Belt, many thought this kind of thing demonstrated faith in action. Well, I thought God just answered one prayer to let me be okay. He answered both of them. But not everyone who survived the hurricane was God-fearing, as one notably illuminating exchange demonstrated. I guess you got to thank the Lord, right? Yeah. Do you thank the Lord? For that split second decision? I, I, I'm, I'm actually an atheist. Oh, you are? All right. <laughs> if you think that didn't take balls, you've never been to Oklahoma. Saying I'm an atheist True. in Oklahoma is like screaming jihad at airport security. That took some nuts. And you watch the footage, all the other victims are on the news thanking Jesus for only killing their neighbors and not them, while a crawler is on the screen telling me where I can text money to help them out. Fuck them. I don't want <laughs> Jesus getting credit for my $50. I'll help that other girl out. That CNN exploiting hell yes. She ain't got no Jeebus. She gonna need money. So I did. I started an Indiegogo fundraiser no account, money. and atheists ended up ponying up over $126,000 just for little old her, and I couldn't get the smile off of my face for a week. And I didn't do it because I felt sympathy because she got all her shit destroyed by a tornado. I did it simply to be a prick to her oaky Christian neighbors, hoping that they were still eating off of FEMA trucks when someone drove up and presented Rebecca with a giant cardboard check. It's funny how hate can make you do real nice things every now and then. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Yeah, I was about to say, um, that's what I appreciate about Doug Stanhope, because a lot of people told me that he doesn't really care too much about people reacting to um, his uh, comedy special and stuff. And I'm not going to react to the entire comedy special. I usually just like look at snippets and stuff like that. But... Um, the fact that he uh, is so willing to like not really care about profit, and at the same time like he's going out and doing stuff like this, even if his intentions were different, the results are still the same. You still 
did a hell of a lot more for that person than anybody. Hell, more than more than supposedly God did. <laughs> and um, I do remember this story when they first talked about it. Um, it was something that really irritated the hell out of me. Like, okay, so God answered your prayer to save your dog, but did he just ignore the prayers of everybody else? Like, why, why do people take one small good thing happening out of a big giant tragic thing and think oh it's a miracle um it's not a miracle for the other people that died like i'm pretty sure there were some god-fearing people in that crowd too that passed away and obviously didn't have their uh, prayers answered so i guess your dog is more important than everybody else i mean it's like i've heard people say that like when it comes to prayer and um, religion and stuff people count the hits and ignore the misses and it makes a lot of sense because you hear a lot of people like pray and things like that and they'll sit there and go back and forth and just praise and acknowledge all of the prayers that were answered but then when the prayers aren't answered they ignore it like it never happened but oh well um i was i lost my keys and then i found them and i, I was about to be late i was one i cast showed up at work at the exact time if i had missed my keys for another minute i'd have been late and got fired but um, I prayed, and then God let me find the keys, and I got the keys and went to work on time. And it's like, okay, but what about all the other times you prayed? I mean, if you're about to get fired from work, then obviously that means you have multiple occurrences. So you didn't, like, those weren't answered then. And then there's no telling if they're going to be answered in the future. Like, they say statistically prayer has the exact same success rate as chance. So it really doesn't make any, like, any difference. Um, I had somebody in the comment section say uh, prayer works about 50% of the time. I, I was thinking, yeah, if it worked 50% of the time, more people would probably pray. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, you are you guys already know how I feel about religion. Um, not so much the people that follow religion. I'm, I don't have anything against religious people. It's just the idea that, like, there's a all-loving, all, like, happy, all-forgiving God, despite the fact that all of his acts and things like that you, that you read in the Bible are the complete opposite. Um, anyway, that's been this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move on to another reaction video. I am the original Renaissance man, Devon Da Vinci, signing out. Deuces.